complicated speech. <laughs> Kathy, that was very inspiring. As a parent, I just hope that my kids will remember me in the same way that you remembered your mom. So uh, I think all of us can, can inspire to that. Uh, I'm excited about giving a scholarship this year, and the reason is because I'm selfish about my happiness. <laughs> requires a little explanation. I'll get there in a minute. But first, let me tell you a little bit about before Golden West College. As a young teenager, I was in group homes in a juvenile hall. Later on, I was in special ed in high school. At 20, there was so much family turmoil, I decided to leave them all behind in Washington State and move down here to California. When I got here, my friends, they were all attending college. Most of them had parents that would support them, either through paying for apartments or or they could live at home and do their laundry and everything there. For me, I lived in an apartment and I shared a room with somebody else. I didn't have that same situation. But I knew because they were going to college that I needed to go to college. So I thought about creative ways to make this happen. And I so wanted to have that situation where somebody could pay for my food and I could have shelter over my head and be able to still have time to study. With that thought in mind, I came up with the perfect solution. If I go to jail for four years, I can get my education. <laughs> Couple of problems with that. <laughs> One, I can't figure out a crime that you'll go to jail for exactly four years. <laughs> Two, it's just that I'm gonna have to do something against somebody else and that just doesn't sit well with me. So I wanted a change and I knew to create that change that I had to change. I started focusing on my sign language skills and I wanted to become an interpreter here because I could make more money in less time and attend college. I finally did that. One of the first classes I took was College 100. That class taught me how to go to college and it taught me a few foundational things in life as well. I can remember Dean teaching us about budgets and saying, you need to have a category for surprise or miscellaneous or something like that. And I wrote down, okay, $100. The problem was I never filled that account. And then I went down at Beach in Edinger and got pulled over by the police and didn't have my seatbelt on. And, surprise, here's your $200 ticket. And I remember getting that ticket and I had a choice either pay the ticket or go to class and pay for the books. So I paid the ticket and I postponed my education for that. The scholarship that I received from Joanne Bum, many of you know her, I haven't seen her here tonight, I've been looking for her. Uh, the scholarship that I received from Joanne Bum gave me just a little bit of wiggle room with my finances so that I could make it financially. And that little bit of wiggle room made a huge difference as far as the stress from the financial burdens of college. Recently, I received a raise, and I thought about different ways that I could spend that money. One is, I have a car that gets me from point A to point B just fine, but the thing looks like crap. I was hoping an interpreter was here so you could see the sign for crap. <laughs> but uh, the car does not look good at all. I thought I'd get in the car, but I don't like the pants. You know, I love that beach in Waikiki, sitting there, and the only thing on my agenda is surfing and sipping a Mai Tai. That's really nice. But you know what? That brings me relief. That resets me. But it only brings me so much happiness. I'm writing a book right now, and one of the subjects that I'm talking about is happiness. So I started researching it, and lo and behold, so has Harvard. And Harvard Health Publications put out a study, and they said that gratitude is strongly and consistently linked to greater happiness. I started thinking about what I could do with this money. I thought about that relief that I received from Joanne Baum. And then a year later, the R. Dudley Boyce Award, which allowed me to go to Cal State Northridge. I thought about what I received in the knowledge of life skills from that College 101 class, or 100 class. I, re I thought about what I received from, from Valerie and student government and the leadership skills that she gave me 
that allowed me to have the job that I have today that allowed me to have that raise that I've got in this situation. And for each of those things, I'm grateful. And that grateful, gratefulness makes me happy. So you see, the scholarship is simple for me. I'm selfish about my happiness, and giving makes me happy. Thank you.